Jambo, mimi na ito Jeremy Damaris, sahi ni kwa Wisconsin. Well, this is a very beautiful state. Actually, it's my first time to be in Wisconsin. I mean, I like inspiring people. Na hibu ya shara ya matrera hapa Amerika, ni watu wengi sana wamekua discouraged, wengine waringia kwa hii business, alafu wakaacha, waka wakaingia kwa mabu ingine. But I want to tell you, my friend, I have people who are doing good in this place. I have one of my friends, and I to Charles Camindo. I mean, ni memujua kwa munda. Akaniambia, the time you come to Wisconsin, come I tell you secret of succeeding in this business. Well, if you are... I mean, if you want to come to the U.S., if you're in the U.S., you don't know which business you can do. Wacha ni kuambia hii ya matrera. Kuna mtu ya kona moja, ikampeleka mzuri. Akanumua ya pili, ikampeleka mzuri. Akanumua ya tatu, ya nne, ya tano, ya sita, ya saba. And he's just a young man. His name is Charles Camindo. Welcome pala ni yongena. Charles, my friend. Yes. Woo, finally. Finally. My friend, my friend. You are talking. Wacha ni kuweke hii jameni. Yes, yes. You look good, brother. Thank you, thank you. Umekaa maridali maridawa. Yani, ni kujipamba. Hii dunia utafanya nini na kufa ni siku moja. Kufa ni siku moja. Jipambe, ya. Unaishi mara moja. Yes. So you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what to do. Kama mugu amekupe yo jena jia kweda. Yes. Songa. Salamia ya duwa kwenu. Habari ya wa Kenya, habari ya watu ya US, welcome to Wisconsin. Hapa tuna enjoy chili weather which is beautiful. Right. Beautiful spring. Exactly. Yes. Na shukuru sana. Well, unajua hii matuera hii. Yes. Na yonanga ni najuta. Uh-huh. Unajua wali kusema nini? Yeah. Na yona ni najuta. Uh-huh. Na shudo, kwa nini siku ingia? Hii sasa, usirigret, it's not too late. It is not too late. Unaweza igia. Right. Yes. Hey! Ya, tuanze hapa, kwa nini wabu waibu kanya? Kwa tu, mimi nime toka pahali panaitu wa Dodori kwa Kiyogo. Kama uchawai isikia Dodori. Nimeenda uko? Na uko di konjumbani kwa tu. Nilizaliwa uko, nikalelewa uko, nikaeda skuru uko, nikaanza kukibia nikiwa kijana mdogo uko, then nika graduate high school, nikiwa tu na kibia, and that's how I came to US as a professional learner. Haya. So tukisema ni kukimbia boda ni yaka? Oo, mimi nimesuguka Amerika yote kapila ni yaza kuedesha truck. For real? Yes, nimekibia 2.15.03 for 26 mile. Na pia nimekibia 63. Learning is the best of my life. Kwa hivyo hata nikiona mkibia jireo wa kikibia na sikia kama naezalia. Haia. Because that's how I started. Not even to make the matter worse. That's how I became a US citizen. Ukimbia? Through my running nika... I140, nikapewa citizen, nikaleta familia yagu, and that's how I became a US citizen. Wow. So I'm proud of my running. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's how I... So tell me you unasema bio ya six. Umeita na mnaga. Mi tunajua da marathon. Bio ya marathon, 26 miles. Oh, 26 miles. Yes. Miko mna zikimbia watu. Kuna moja umi? Oh, siya moja. Niliwina Kentucky Derby for four times. Nikawini Green Bay for three times. Nikawini Akron for one time. Na nikakibia Twin City, nikakuja number five, nikakibia 215. I win a lot of them. Wow. And that's how I end up building my house in Kenya, buying my wife, whatever they needed. Learning is my... So, hii bio ikona pesa? Oh, bio, ukwela minasikianga wati bio ikona pesa, sa zgini we are not sure. Bio ikona pesa, ukijokaliya mtu kama kiyokioge. Right. He's a billionaire. Oh, for you? Yes. Because, uh, like, for example, if you go to Boston Marathon, mm -hmm. just a winning, in Alipa, like, a hundred and fifty dollars. A hundred and fifty thousand. Now, Pia, come you are a good runner, like, if you have a sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Sponsorship, you have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Come mimi me, you have a lot of money. But uh, even though how I could pay a lot of money, mm -hmm. they gave me a lot of equipment. That uh, equipment are very expensive. Mm -hmm. So, I supported myself. Mm -hmm. I was my own sponsor. Oh my God. And uh, that's how uh, somebody like John, we mm. meet, uh, me and John, we know each other when we were in high school. Like in John, he was a learner. That's how he came to US. Jesus. So that's how he came to US. And Google, what is Gina? Charles Camindo. I was a skinny boy. Yes. Yeah. But because I had that time, I was born in the US in 1999. Na nikakibia from 1999, nikakuja kusiro 2008, then nikawa... Uzo ukiingia. Nikaaza kuwa citizen, nikaaza kuigia. Nikafanya fanya kazi kidogo kidogo hivi, diyo sata nikakuja nikaaza tracking. Wow. Yeah, I started tracking with 
one straight track. Mm. Now you straight track in the other night, it was a bracing. Even today I call it the bracing track. Mm. Because the same track mm. I worked with it for a year and a half, mm. then I sold it to John. And Allah. John and a break on John mm. and John got a new track. So our life started. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Yes. Just come back to this Kwanzaa. Yeah. Sasa hii ukibiaji wako, unajua yeah. then when people are coming to the US, ilikuwa inasemekana lazima ujiite jina la Kiprono ama no. Mm. I, I, um, uh, Jeremy, uh, mm. in Kenya, mm. uh, even like in Central Province, right. apart from the the Karajin or whatever, uh, in Kikuyu, mm -hmm. we have the second best learners. Mm. And because of the high attitude, mm -hmm. kama you get someone like someone Wajiro, right. uh, someone like John Goge, mm. someone like... Uh, uh, other good people, Charles Kamadi, mm. those people are all held from Central Province. Mm. And Central Province, when we produce, we produce one who is good. Wow. Yeah. Samu Wajiro Murijuana. Yes. Wajiro, mm. I was an uh, interpreter for Wajiro mm. every time he came to Chicago. Even, yeah, even the, the day he came to Chicago mm. and then he went to die, mm. that time I was with him. Oh, we are no. the same hotel, the mm. same room. Mm. Because we uh, were to be able to get the same room. Yes. Yes. Wow. Ebi ni jaribu kidogo kabla turudi kwa matrack. Yeah. Ka hapa. Tuna na nani kona bio. Ni tufike mwisho wa roli. Yeah, twende Jeremy. Tuanza. Ni mara ya wake haya want to go to. Tunaona. Na Ebron hata kiatu yangu imetoka. Ay 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 ay. Tunafanya because I just want to feel the experience. Yes. Ya ukimbia na Maradona. Baka wa leo, I run. Wow. Today I go exercise in a gym and I go run when it's nice outside. Whatever you are runner it's very hard to quit. Wow. It's if something you, that is in you. It's something that is in me. So, come on, Mimi, if I don't run for two days, mm. I feel like I hate myself. Mm. I feel like I'm missing something. I yes. feel like I'm get, becoming depressed. Mm. But when I go out and run, mm -hmm. go on a gym, go mm. on a treadmill, mm. I feel good. Eh, yeah. I mean, though, it's a person who can do it. One day mm. I was uh, running in uh, Akron Marathon, mm -hmm. and uh, I was just jogging by myself mm. i was in a very good shape mm. and when i went to that race nobody could keep up with me so i went and i go i ran two hours 18 minutes mm -hmm. and i win 25,000 us dollar that day a check of 25,000 us dollar yeah, yeah. and I, nobody was taking a percent apart from the government it was home it was a money check. yes wow that's you good the pay was 20,000 mm -hmm. and then I had like bonus and all those mm -hmm. stuff so it ended up being like a check of $25,000. Wow. Yeah. So family yako kuna mtoto anakimbia? Yes. Uh this is what happened. Mm -hmm. My father who is right now like 80, mm -hmm. my father was a policeman. Right. And the reason why he was uh, employed as a policeman mm -hmm. because he was a very fast guy. So mm -hmm. he was good to go for the bad guy. Mm -hmm. So then um, people from my village, John Goge, his brother, mm -hmm. I see them running, and uh, my dad was telling me, you look like you're going to be a runner. Mm. And I see the, the life that those runners were living, mm. and I admired. And uh, when I was in Form 2, I started learning. I started learning. Mm. And, uh, by the end of my Form 1, Form mm -hmm. 2, Form 3, Form 4, mm. there's no year I didn't go to the national. Mm. So uh, during the cross country, I was running cross country. On track, I was running a uh, 1500. Wow. And I went to national every year mm -hmm. until I finished school. And then God opened the door for me when I opened, when I finished high school. Mm -hmm. 1998, I finished high school. 1999, I came to US. Wow. That was in Pennsylvania. Hey, but uh, to took you. Then uh, the agent was, uh, didn't work very good. Mm -hmm. Then I went to Atlanta to, with a friend and mm -hmm. I stayed with a friend. Mm -hmm. Then I started doing things by myself. And uh, by that, mm -hmm. I became very successful. Mm -hmm. And I help a lot of people. So if, just, today, mm -hmm. if I count people that I have made to come to this country, Kukibia, yeah, Kukibia mm -hmm. and they have changed their life, mm -hmm. they are of 100. Wow. So are you still doing this? Yes. Like now, when I was home last week, mm -hmm. and I came. Uh, uh, somebody contacted me. Mm -hmm. A girl with a green card, mm -hmm. but she didn't have a host. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I talked to my wife, I say, why don't we host her? Mm. So now, right now, right now, the girl who is 22, mm. like in my daughter, yes. she is in my house and she have a eight-year-old baby. Wow. So she can, I, we, we see it's good to host her mm. because somebody changed my life. Yes. You Let have me give you a, a small story. Mm. Uh, when I was becoming an American, mm -hmm. to year 2002, mm -hmm. 
I was running in Alabama, uh, a town called Huntsville, mm. Alabama. Huntsville, and sana. I was doing a 10K. Mm -hmm. And I was in a very good shape. Right. I won the 10K. Mm -hmm. In there, I met the guy who was a race director, and his wife are the beautiful human being you have ever met mm -hmm. in this world. Right. It's a kid and Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, that's when my wife, I got a baby, mm -hmm. I named my daughter Stephanie, and my son, mm -hmm. I named them Keith. Right. Keith and Stephanie, they adopted me from that day, and I became their son. Mm. They sponsor me, they sponsor my family, and today that's why I'm American. So you can meet one person. Mm. In this and world, there is one person who mm. can take your life. You know, you see what you do? Yes. You have touched a lot of people. Yes. And really, you inspire me. Mm, when I see okay. what you do, yes. I say, why don't we have thousands mm. of people? Right. Like you and mm. Karango yes. and um, uh, Ben who right. take people mm. from who they are yes. and take their life. Yes. Because when you do that, mm. it, it cannot happen to you. Right. But you don't know whether it's going to happen to your son. You're right. So it's always good to do good to others Woo. without expecting to be paid. Because whoever pays mm. is the one who is in heaven. My friend, yes. you have inspired me, brother. You have paid me. Yes. Now, let's come back to this Yes. Now, let's come back to this tracking. Yes. Because John told me, I want to show you my mentor. Yeah. Sasa wei meata kukimbia. Yes. Umengia kwa tuwera. Yes. Na nimesikia tuwera sasa ni kama zako zote hapa bana. So, this is what happened. Right. Uh, always mm. be good to others. Mm -hmm. And God, and, and God <laughs> will be good to you. Right. So, maybe... I don't uh, brag myself, right. but there's something that God put in my heart, mm -hmm. the heart of giving away. Yes. And when you give away, mm -hmm. it comes back to you. Yes. So I know John for a long time. Mm. And John came, mm -hmm. he worked for me a little bit. Mm -hmm. And okay. then, he, then I, 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 he said, hey, Charles, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. I mentored him mm -hmm. and then he get in mm -hmm. and right now he's doing very good. And my joy is if I mentor somebody mm -hmm. and I see you doing even better than me, mm. I give thanks to God. Amen. I don't give thanks to somebody, but no. I give thanks to God. Yes. Because I know tomorrow mm. you're going to support somebody. Yes. John yes. have supported me. I have supported him. Mm. We have supported other people. Mm. We have grown together. We have grown together. Mm. And uh, at the moment, the tracking business is very hard. Right. Every day, people are going out. Mm. But you know what? God is sustaining us. And this is just a... A shake up, a shake up, mm. and when we get out of it, mm. uh, we're gonna enjoy. Woo! So yeah. now, so the tracking well, we will decide that because now we may we may kukimbia, yeah. we may decide to come here come around. We move to our kuingiza, and we will decide. So I have a brother who lives here, right? And my brother decided to go for a CDL, mm -hmm. and when he went for the CDL, mm -hmm. I asked him, "Hey, can you can I buy the truck and you drive for me?" Mm -hmm. And he said, "No." Then he went to a drive for another company. Mm -hmm. Then uh, when he was driving for that company, mm -hmm. he opened a company, mm -hmm. and uh, that's when I, I was tired to work mm -hmm. where I work, working, mm -hmm. and with ten thousand mm -hmm. US dollar, I found taxes and I had my ten thousand mm -hmm. and my saving. Mm -hmm. I bought a street truck, and that street truck mm -hmm. is everything that I have now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So and so you call it a CDL? No, I, it, it was under CDL. Oh, it was a street yeah. truck. Okay. With no CDL. Mm. Then when I became a citizen, mm -hmm. I got my green card. I did uh, with training myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to school. Mm -hmm. I trained myself, and I got a uh, class B. So I was driving. Uh, I bought a semi, mm -hmm. you no know, street truck, mm -hmm. which you cannot drive if you don't have a class B. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, at a class B, mm -hmm. and I had like by that time mm -hmm. I had seven street trucks, mm -hmm. and I ha had hired uh, a lot of gentlemen, team driver. Mm -hmm. So we were doing expedite going. Day and night, right? And with that, I make a lot, I make good money, mm. and uh, then I it starts getting hard to get a driver mm -hmm. because everybody wanna drive class A. Yes. And then uh, I decided to move to class A. Mm. When I moved to class A, I bought a a Peter Bill. Peter Bills are my favorite truck. Mm. You can see like John love Volvo, right? And yes. you have one Peter mm. Bill over there. Yes. But uh, I love Peter Bill. I have uh, I have four Peter. Uh, Four Peter Bills mm -hmm. and I have uh, one Kenworth mm. and two Fraliner. Jesus, why you gonna tell a I have seven all of them. Seven. Yeah. Now you could tell us case because you may put them pocket two hundred thousand. Truck model, the new one right now, right, is like two hundred and fifty. Woo! So with that one, mm. that's like buying a house. When I bought my house, mm -hmm. I bought it for two hundred and sixty-five. That's a whole truck. And uh, that house, it's, uh, I live like a 45 minutes from here mm -hmm. in a town called Beaverdam. Right. 
So uh, when you think about something you bought it for 250,000 mm. mm. and that thing is moving. Mm. So anytime you can get an accident <laughs> and you can be right off. <laughs> Where? So now I'm talking about seven trucks. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's not a joke, my friend. It's, and people are still saying the business is no good. I mean, so, you know, like, we understand so, uh, uh, At right now, yes. I can advise somebody it's not the right time to get the business mm -hmm. because I am not a politician, right. but since we directed the Democratic government, mm. things have gone... Mm. Trump, Trump was the good guy for the business. Mm. And if to this time, I'm going to vote for him. Allah, Modo. Now, that can happen. So, now, tell me. You know what? Right. I'm a businessman. Yes. Because a politician mm -hmm. who is right there, he's doing nothing for me. Right. He don't bring a, ta a, a table of mm. a plate of food in my house. Yes. I work hard mm. to get that uh, uh, that Dora. Mm. When uh, Trump was the president, before he left office, yes. we bought fuel for a dollar and 87 per gallon. Uh, right that. now, it's three cheap. We are three, and this is the, this is the cheapest truck right. stop. Mm. This uh, last year and this uh, last year, we bought gas for $6. I know. Diesel for $6. Mm. So just do the mathematics here. A broker is paying you a dollar and 60 cents mm. to go for a thousand mile. So you are getting 1,600. The fuel, it's costing six dollar a gallon. Mm. So and you are holding forty five thousand. This trailer you can hold forty five thousand pounds. Mm. So if you put to to fill that truck, you get it like a thousand dollar. Mm. And the road is paying you sixteen hundred. So when you count the driver, our driver, we pay them with with the with the, with the road. Mm -hmm. So if the road pay me this amount, you have a percent there. Mm. So by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I get myself that like, I went into a pocket mm -hmm. to, pay to for haul a road for a Walmart. Mm. You know, a Walmart, mega million company. Mm. I hauled a road for them, but I hauled it for free. Mm. You know why? I put a fuel in my truck, mm -hmm. I paid the driver, yes. but by the time that that truck hit the dock mm. and the off road, mm. I do my mathematics, Got I have zero. nothing. Right. Wow. So, what? What are you doing? But before, when the truck was the president, mm -hmm. We make good money. I made to, uh, I, that time. Mm -hmm. I even afforded to pay off my house. Wow! Because I, I made enough money that I feel I don't have to put that money. Mm -hmm. I can pay off my house right now. Hakuna. Everything that I had saved, mm -hmm. it's already gone. With, it's, already, not even, uh, it's already gone. So now I'm I'm working hard to make sure I put more <laughs> saving in there. So now I yeah. mean, so when you say now you have seven uh, seven uh, uh, trucks, yeah. Uh, such so how our drivers unawa source wapi because so, I hear people saying unajik unalika driver leo kesho anacha how are able to make it? It depends how you handle them. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeremy, this truck when mm -hmm. it's parked there, right, and it's not moving, mm -hmm. it's not making money for me. Right. Uh, the, uh, uh, you can come and see Camino's logistics. You mm -hmm. say, wow, I see Camino have seven truck parked there. Mm -hmm. Wow, Camino have a lot of truck. Mm -hmm. But if that truck is not moving, mm -hmm. it doesn't make any sense. Right. So mm -hmm. the most important person mm -hmm. is the driver. Right. You need to take care for the driver. Mm -hmm. Listen to the driver. Mm -hmm. Whenever he want his off, right. give him his off. Mm -hmm. Whenever he whatever he want, mm -hmm. treat him good. Mm -hmm. Because that driver, mm -hmm. if you don't have that driver, right. that truck means nothing. You know, the shim the river. Yeah, it's like a home without a wife. So now when <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. So when you driver na kuya kumbesa kamindo, I want to retire. I wanna go. What do you do? Like some of the guys have worked in my company, mm -hmm. and uh, being they have been loyal to me, mm -hmm. by the day mm -hmm. they become owner operator in my right. company, mm -hmm. and I gave them a truck, mm -hmm. and then they can't pay me off. Wow. So I, I say you, ha I he see a truck, mm -hmm. I go. Uh, let's buy the truck, mm -hmm. buy him the trailer, stay in my company. Mm -hmm. When you pay off everything, mm -hmm. you're on your own. Wow. So, because that person is loyal to you. Right. Why should you not be loyal to that person? Mm. So, yeah. no was idea. So now the Camindos, when you say the Camindos logistics, means I, I dispatch myself. Mm -hmm. I work with my wife. Mm -hmm. My wife, she is an accountant. Mm -hmm. She factor the road. Mm -hmm. She pay the driver. Mm -hmm. And I am a, I'm a driver. Right. I'm on maintenance, mm -hmm. and I'm on hiring. I'm on hiring. Mm -hmm. So making sure every truck, everything is good to be on the road. Mm. Because you see this truck, 
this truck, if I don't maintain it, right? And today, I pick up a road here, mm -hmm. and they hit the road, mm -hmm. and they go through the waste station there, mm -hmm. and they stop it. They say this truck have a bad tire; it can't go. It's out no, of zero. It's out of service. Mm -hmm. At that out of service, it hurt me. It hurt my company so bad. Mm -hmm. So I have to make sure all my truck uh, tires are good. Mm -hmm. Everything is good. Mm -hmm. Drivers are using the road mm -hmm. the way they are supposed to be used. Right. So to keep a good record, mm -hmm. you keep a company. If you just think you buy a truck and it's pick up the road and go, mm -hmm. pick up the road and go, you don't maintain the truck, you mm -hmm. don't maintain the rocks, mm -hmm. you don't follow the rules. Mm -hmm. Here in America, mm -hmm. if you, you do things according to the book, mm -hmm. you have an easy life. Right. And the reason why you see a lot of people, they come and go, because mm -hmm. they don't know that there is a rule that need to be followed in this business. Mm. The thing is, I buy the truck and mm. hit the road and mm. I'm good. No. A it's, you have to follow the rule. Wow. You have a, like now, let me show you something here. Mm -hmm. so in this truck, right. there's a, something here we call, this is an ECM. Right. And in this ECM, uh -huh. it's connected with this screen. Right. This is the ELD. Mm -hmm. Anytime I start this truck, mm -hmm. I put my information on this truck, mm -hmm. If a, a police stop me, right. he can see what time did I start driving, mm. how many miles I'm, I have driven from which up to where I am. Right. So if I violate this one, mm. a police have a right to shut me for 10 hours, put me out of service for 24 hours, mm -hmm. and that is very bad for my company. Wow. So if, when you get a driver, mm -hmm. you explain to them, it's not only making money, mm. we have to follow the rules. Wow. And that's the big problem a lot of Kenyans have mm. when they get to this business because they don't want to follow mm. the rules. Mm. Like okay. now, mm. sometimes if that happen mm. when you got an accident, I, as the owner of a company, mm. I can go to jail. Mm. Yes, yes. Okay. So, for mm. example, now, mm. when all my trucks are on the road, mm -hmm. like I have an app here, mm -hmm. and in this app, right. right now I have some guys on the road. Mm -hmm. I go to this app, mm -hmm. and when I go to this app, mm -hmm. uh, you see, now, you see all this uh -huh. blue here? Yes. Those mean trucks are running. Okay. The, the truck, I, I, I put the truck mm -hmm. under the driver name. Okay. So, so now that one I'm seeing. So this one Kim is, Tai, uh, Kim tai is, uh, is driving mm -hmm. at 65 miles per hour. Right. And he is uh, somewhere in... Uh, New uh, New, New Bank, Bank, Indiana. Indiana, yes. So uh, that one, wow. it tell you all the information for that truck. This is correct. So this is correct. This is correct. This is correct. This is correct. Okay. So now so easy. Now on a Sasa secure app, and if you take a everything, I come there. So you see, like this one, it's idling. Yeah. This one is moving. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one, mm -hmm. see now, because this driver is driving very fast, mm -hmm. it can tell me here. Yeah, he's on 80. 80. And that one is Deja. You see, it's showing me at... Uh, we are driver. It's a driver. Uh, it's a driver. It's a It's a driver. It's a driver. It's a driver. It's a In Missouri. Mm. But now, you see, he went down to 74 miles per hour. So, that one is... Uh, wow. So I mean, as a way, manage what work with a move. Yes. Yeah. There's no. Uh, don't, don't, there's no hurry. Wow. That's just good. the road you, you are delivering on mm. this day. So mm. just go slow. So I mean, so now I know people now are trying to ask themselves as we walk around yes. because now these are the, the trucks that is Kopat Hapa. Yes. When I is Kule Mbele. Now yeah. when I see the flag of Kenya. Yes. On your trucks Hapa. Yes. I mean, why? Why? What? What? Why? 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 Uh, the flag. I love my country. Mm. And. Uh, I always like when people see me and they see that's a Kenyan, they say hi. Mm. Because I feel, after all, yes. East or West, home is home the is best. best. Mm -hmm. And that's why mm. people like DJ, when they come here mm. and tell me, hey, Charles, invest in Kenya. Right. I feel good mm. because I know one day yes. I'm going to go back to Kenya mm -hmm. and I'm going to enjoy my mm. investment mm -hmm. that uh, I like a boy from you, I mm. buy from Jane. Right. I know that will be a uh, future. Mm help for me You're right in yes. investment investment and uh, being that i'm a proud kenyan mm. i feel like i have to show that i am happy from where i came from i mean this is very good whenever this truck goes in any place in this country we have the harambe and yeah. we have kenya that's being a uh, kenya kenya mm. kenya, 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 kenya harisi yes i mean that's very good now yeah 
of course hakuwezi kuskosa nini hakuwezi okay nilikuwa kuna sign naweza before tukuja hapa yeah now when we talk about having seven trucks yeah. now everybody is saying like kamindo must be a billionaire yes especially in kenya yes sasa ile mwingiza unaingizanga ni kama ngapi tuseme madri tuseme ama hapo mnasemanga ni yearly so yearly mm. i can make a at least approximately maybe 1.8 1. million yeah but when you take one point eight million brother but when you take <laughs> out the expenses mm. man expenses are a lot mm. a lot like because that truck mm. and mostly when they get old yes if this like this okay this truck mm. was in the shop right this week mm. uh we were replacing the clutch yes by the by the time i went to pick it up from the shop mm. it was three three thousand dollar mm. just replace the clutch Wow, $3,000. dollar. You can take that truck to the shop. Mm-hmm. And when you take it to the shop, mm-hmm. by the time they give you an estimate of mm-hmm. how much it's going to cost you to mm-hmm. fix it, mm-hmm. it's like 12,000 US dollar. Wow. So, just imagine you have seven trucks mm-hmm. and each truck go to the uh, tr- shop every like now we do maintenance. Mm-hmm. Our change is every week, right. every, every month. Mm-hmm. The our change for this truck mm-hmm. is 575. That's zero compared to one million. One so million. just think that a month, and then <laughs> mm-hmm. you pay the driver. Right. Uh, maybe you have uh, some uh, like I have a uh, three trucks. This yes. one, uh, that I, I make payment. Mm. You have payment for the truck. Mm-hmm. You pay the driver. Mm. By the end of that, by that, mm. you see whatever you have. Is, uh, just, uh, just but you are not but it's better. Yeah. It's mm. better because mm. uh, you can take a vacation. Mm. You can like now my wife she she work at home. Mm. She don't have to be worried what right. I need to do mm. all those stuff. Mm-hmm. So I uh, I feel good about it. Wow, yeah. this is good. I mean, so you can actually tell people that this business is good like now mm. this is one thing that i advise people who are coming here with a green card yes if you come here with a green card mm. cbl mm. is a good job right you come here you have a, you want to be a, a truck driver mm-hmm. we are here to hire the mm. new driver right like, I, like now you ask me a question about the driver mm-hmm. like all my drivers mm-hmm. i used to work with an american yeah. i have american who have drive for me mm-hmm. but uh I enjoy working with my brothers and uh, from Kenya mm-hmm. because they are very punctual. Mm-hmm. They do things according to mm-hmm. the way the things are supposed to be right. done mm-hmm. and they not they, they don't they don't they don't joke. Mm. They are here to make money. Mm. Yeah. Wah. Jameni. So mimi tuseme kama saa hizi nime nimecherewa kuingia kwa matrail. No, you can get you can drive. Unajua kuna mimi ajiuliza mimi nimekuwa nash, nimekuwa kwa hii biashara. Am I too late? No, you are not. You na, you can get a mm. there are guys 70 years old on the road. Mm. Like the driver who drive this truck. Right. His name is Francis. Mm-hmm. He is 52. Mm-hmm. And he do very well. Mm. Yeah. Like right now he take a vacation to go to Kenya. Mm. Yeah. Sasa wewe madriver wako lazima mtu akue na documents. Hapa kama makadasi ya kazi. This is what it is. Mm-hmm. Wewe sipata document uh, CDL. Mm-hmm. If you don't have like document, right? Who is he? Mm. I, like people, uh, I did an interview with a friend of mine mm. long time ago. Yes, and he put it on. Uh, people see me. People mm. call me mm. from Kenya. I I am a truck driver. Mm. Can I come drive for you? Mm. And uh, I tell them, if you win a green card, right? If you come with a green card, mm. I would be very happy to hire you. Mm. But now this job, before you go to the CDO, mm. there's a system. When you drive this one, mm-hmm. it's like somebody flying a bomb. Yeah. Yes, they, 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 yeah, you have to be very yeah, in the very careful. Right. Yeah. Hii sasa ukibeba na iko na mzigo imejaa kule. Yeah, umebeba 45,000 pound. Yes. Na hiyo gari it need uh, mild concentration. Huwezi mm. kuwa te una unacheza cheza naye because mm-hmm. si kama za kule kwetu nyumbani unacheza nazo. The curiosity direction una huwezi right. yeah, kuleta. Yes. Yeah. I I know we we had another friend from Tanzania in our in our state alikufa yeah. kwa lori. Yes, I uh, yeah. yeah. It was sad news. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, so 
So now, kama wewe uko Kenya na unataka kusema because now you see Charles Kamindo hapa na utaanza kumwambia Charles nipe kazi ya Matuera. Yeah. Kama huko America, hataweza yes, kukusaidia uh, as much as we want to help you. As much as we want And but if you win a green card, yes. as you tell people to play green card all the time, yes. ukute na hiyo green card, mm. I'm ready to hold you my hand exactly. until you become a driver. Na kama uko hapa America na uko na working documents and you want to venture into uh, truck business. Yes. So utamsaidia, utamwambia. Oh, very sound. Very good. Mm. Very, yeah. Like you know before before the government introduced a lot of rules mm -hmm. all my drivers mm -hmm. no none, none of them went to school mm -hmm. they come mm -hmm. they go do the permit mm -hmm. i train them mm -hmm. i put them on the road and nobody used money to go to school but now the government came with a new rule mm -hmm. you have to go to school for one month okay but i used to train my own people mm -hmm. and uh, the people that i train mm -hmm. today like some of guys are driving for john right some are, of them are driving for my friend mm -hmm. and they are the best driver so challenges yes challenges because of course tumesema munyororoko 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 so where's cause at kuna ma challenges the big challenge mm -hmm. one of the uh, uh, jeremy mm -hmm. is like now the roads are not paying that mm -hmm. good right and uh, another big challenge mm -hmm. is like when this truck reef here Let's say this truck reef here and it's going to Birmingham, mm -hmm. Alabama. Yes. And uh, it got to Kentucky mm -hmm. and the truck broke down. And uh, the road have to deliver. Mm -hmm. So I have to figure out how this truck could go to the shop mm -hmm. and get fixed. Or how I should test it, another truck mm -hmm. to go pick up that trailer and go deliver. So the stress is when the truck, the big challenge is when the truck broke down mm -hmm. out of the state. Mm -hmm. And they have a road that is needed. Another challenge is when uh, maybe you have a driver mm -hmm. abandon the truck. Mm -hmm. Another challenge is when the DOT arrests your truck and mm -hmm. they say it cannot go mm -hmm. because of something that you didn't know. Mm -hmm. So there's actually a lot of challenge there. Mm -hmm. But uh, as far as you keep up with it, mm -hmm. you can overcome. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So see, when you ride the dog on your own, yes. do you drive? Do you drive? Oh, me, I drive. Mm -hmm. oh, I you can drive. Yes, Nigan. this one here. Oh, you know, you know, you know, yeah, the blue color. Yeah, the blue color. Okay. That's what I drive. Yeah. But uh, now I can give you right with this one. Yes. At least you have 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 Yeah, so I will, I will follow you and I will go with this. Yeah. At least you have one. Yes. At least you have one. Yes. Let's go, guys. And see. I feel the ride. Sasa hapa. Yeah. Hey, Jameni. Nilisikia challenge ya trailer ni ni pahali pa kujisaidia tu. <laughs> that is the only challenge. <laughs> so like now yes. I can show you. Mm -hmm. See the, the, you see that truck? Right. Haya that truck mm -hmm. it have a a wow. fridge. Uh -huh. Where you put your food. Right. And it have a, all the stuff. Mm. It also have a microwave but this one uh, he don't use it. Uh -huh. So you have Mutaka all you can TV. No, yeah, you can put the TV if yeah. you want. Mm -hmm. So another thing at uh, you can park your clothes here. Mm -hmm. Take look on wow. look. Oh my god. Yeah. The nyumba kabisa. It's a house. So wow. you have the tissue, you mm -hmm. have everything. Mm -hmm. So the only thing you don't have is a toilet. It's a toilet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, and what do you do? You carry a bucket? No, you stop at the truck stop. Mm -hmm. And uh, you stop at the truck stop mm -hmm. and uh, that's where you go and uh, and do whatever you're doing. Wow. So you see like this truck. Uh -huh. This truck mm -hmm. is uh, like that one is 10 speed, mm -hmm. and this is uh, uh, 13 speed. Mm -hmm. All of my truck, mm -hmm. are, the others are automatic mm -hmm. because the new driver mm -hmm. they like uh, automatic. Mm -hmm. So me and Francis, mm -hmm. we like to drive manual. Okay. Yes. You need like that's a 13 speed. Yeah, 13 speed, 13 speed and 10 speed. Oh. So th this is now. Yeah, uh, this is a flip when mm -hmm. when you go to the. When you get to the gear number four mm -hmm. and you want to go to number five, mm -hmm. you have to go high. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, then you have to go, this one, this one is the easiest to drive mm -hmm. because the gears are very close. Okay. The, 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 the 10 speed, mm -hmm. like when you come from number five, mm -hmm. you come all the way to number, to number six. Wow. So. Wow. Hey. Yeah. There are many. Now you keep moving as you Oh yeah. So like, uh, for how many hours in a day? Uh, 11 hours. You can 11. drive more than 11 hours. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And how long will it take for me to learn how to drive? Uh, because Miss Jiku, you're best at all. It doesn't take that long mm -hmm. to know how to drive. Mm. Yeah. Where? Ah, yeah.
Where, where? So like now, uh -huh. this truck when you are driving, uh -huh. everybody have the, the technique of driving. Right. Like for me, uh -huh. I I do something called uh, floating gear. Mm -hmm. So like now, uh, mm -hmm. like now when you see like I'm not, a, I am out of the clutch. Yes. But now I can go to gear number, to gear number four. Be a clutch. Yeah, be, be a clutch. So now I want to go to gear number five. Uh -huh. I have to lift this one up. Uh -huh. And what I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll just touch one and now I have gear number five in already. Uh, yeah. So, why? Let me take you a room and then we come back. I see. So, is this a truck stop? Is this a truck stop? Do you guys pay to park here? Mm -hmm. some, people pay, mm -hmm. some people pay, but some we don't. Because some uh, are uh, 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 I guess I, I take the fuel here. Uh -huh. And the people, the owner of these trucks, mm -hmm. they are very nice people to us. Right. So, they give us a uh, so we buy the space here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. Wow. Hey, Jamene, if you want to come to the U.S. and become a truck driver, here we have a good man who is willing to help you guys mentor you and venture into this business. So if you got, if you are having, I mean, sasa tuseme kuna mtu hatai kuendesha truck, kama mimi. Is it possible to own a truck and you work kwa shoko? The only problem, Jeremy, when you do that, yes. sometimes let's say, for example, mm -hmm. uh, you have a driver, mm -hmm. and uh, this driver, mm -hmm. I decide to watch a truck yako kama hapa Wisconsin uh -huh. na uko Birmingham uh -huh. you know you you need to have uh, somebody uh -huh. to come and uh, yeah uh, like yeah. Mississippi yeah you need to have somebody uh -huh. to come and na iko na hii ni are you a client here is beba oh oh iko nae ni ni jamaa ame ame Okay. I'm hanging some feet to help mm -hmm. because I have to clear your bed, but mostly, uh, okay. mostly they have to be back. You have to go in. Yeah. Okay. So, so look like you work. Come on. So, you okay, work. Ivo, mm -hmm. you say me driver akut akupe gari yako. Uh, Bali. Bali. Uh -huh. You will have a problem because you will need uh, somebody to go get it for you. Right. No, no. Mm -hmm. So it's better. If you have a CDL too, mm -hmm. because if somebody leave your truck, right, uh, you're not gonna need to hire somebody to go pick up a truck for you. Mm -hmm. You will just go and pick up your truck. Like one time, mm -hmm. I had hired this guy who mm -hmm. was uh, driving for me, mm -hmm. but uh, he decided to leave the my truck in Pennsylvania. Right. So I had to go pick up the truck in Pennsylvania. What? Uh huh. Yeah. Because I don't know if you're going to be a Yeah. That would be a big problem for you. Wow. So now, what are those specifications that you guys look for when you're buying a truck? Uh, the specifics we look for, uh, because this truck, they have a, a different type of engine. Uh -huh. Like for myself, mm -hmm. I have a, a coming engine. Uh -huh. Coming engine is the best engine that is made by. It's made here in America. Right. It's an American engine, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of me mechanic mm -hmm. they know how to fix it. Right. So that's what uh, that's what we look for. See, like now I'm on number seven. Right. Now I can. Now I just get to the high gear. So for that high gear, mm -hmm. I there's another red button on this side. Right. I, that, if I flip that button up, mm -hmm. I am on gear number 13. Huh? Yeah. So I will go seven. So I will go number 11, number 12. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You are going to get gear number 10. Oh, yeah. No, this one is go up to 13. Now, you are going to get a 18 gear. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Woo! Hey, look at these guys. When you go patrol, I even ask you for the boat is a man. Yes, this uh, see like now <laughs> we have different type of truck. Right. Kira Bill, it's mm -hmm. like a uh, owning a BMW. Uh huh. See, wow. You get what I'm saying? Yes. See, so when you have a Kira Bill, mm -hmm. it's a uh, kind of a high profile uh, truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, why why did you choose this course? Because I mean. You can do very well in a busy state. Yeah. It doesn't matter. 
it doesn't matter, but this state, you, the way you see it, yes. is a very busy state. Mm. In tracking, mm -hmm. oh, we, you get, you want a lot of people have come from a different state right. to just come here, so they can uh, they can do uh, they can get road from Wisconsin. Okay, it's only right now the market that is not good, uh -huh. but uh, from Wisconsin, uh -huh. road is very good. Wow. So, for example, if I get a load coming to Birmingham uh -huh. uh, from here, uh -huh. uh, when the market is good, yes. they can pay me four thousand. But wow. on my way back, uh -huh. it may be gonna pay me two thousand. Oh, wow. So, because here, you see, like this is a daily state. Yes. And in Wisconsin, uh, we we make stuff, so we have a lot of stuff to go on. Yes. We don't. Uh, we don't. We have a, a lot of like here. If you are, um, like for example. Uh, we have a lot of uh, paper on. Uh -huh. We have a lot of uh, we make a lot of tissue, right. paper tiles. Because yes. in Wisconsin we grow a lot of trees, yes. so we make all those stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes, so in Wisconsin there is Zizuka a lot of mingi. Zizuka ni mingi, yeah. So there are players from Zuba who are bebaga and here to Nigeria. Eh, kuna na bebaga. Like uh, we, there's a one lady who me and John we work with her. Right. We have a lot of uh, hospital equipment. Okay. And both of you they help us. Mm. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. Sasa sometimes you would have to come out with a mocha in the Sara. Yes. Come on, this year, last year, right. and this year, yes. to make out loss. Mm. Because my food is quite expensive. Mm. Expensive. Mm. Loads are not paying. Mm. So we have uh, incur a lot of loss. Mm. But still, you know. If you better make money I know. than uh, than claiming loss. You're right. Yes. Why? So you hear like now when I, you see like when I take my food out of the fuel. Yes. You can hear that truck is. You hear that? Yeah. That's called the engine brake. Ah. This truck they come with the engine brake. Uh huh. That uh, because they haul heavy. Right. Sometimes if you play with the brake too much, mm. the brake can get hot. Mm. And they can. most of the time you see the truck uh, on fire. Right. The reason why those trucks go on fire uh -huh. is uh, is the brake. Wow. The brake when the brake get hot, uh -huh. it can cause fire. Where? Like in Kosarama, sis. Oh, sis, Kosarama. Oh. We are empty. We don't have it. We don't have any road. <laughs> and we are not going down seventy. Right. Colorado. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. I'm so excited. Now working with your wife in this business. Yes. Has it helped you? Because what we're saying is that we're going to have a lot of money, and now so, the fight starts. Uh, it has helped us very much. Mm -hmm. And uh, every couple of years, we have married. Right. It's not that easy. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you are married. Yes. And you know how hard it is. Yes. But the thing is that kuskizana, kuskizana, na bibiako mire munataka kufanya na na you guys come to a conclusion. Right. It's uh, it's easy. Mm -hmm. It, it, the only challenge come when Utaki Kuskia, yes. Atachi Kuskia. Yes. So Sasa Inakua Kama Bomayenu is a battle. Right. Of, you know, battlefield. Battlefield. Uh. So the best thing in Kuskizana, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the best thing in Kuskizana, too. So now, do you call yourself a successful man in this country? Yes, I do. Mm. Yes, I do, and I and I give thanks to God because uh, where He have uh, where I came from, right, and what uh, what He have done into my life, mm. uh, I I give thanks, Jeremy. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So when are you retiring? Are you planning maybe soon or unafanya uh, kazi mpakalini? Are you planning to raise the business for family? Am I uh, if my family wanna take a business, yes. Uh, like, I have a son who is uh, uh, 17. Right. He is not very much into it. Mm -hmm. And I have a daughter mm -hmm. who is uh, 22. Right. My daughter, mm -hmm. she's like now when uh, when my wife, you know, like my wife when it was in Kenya in December, mm -hmm. my daughter she helped me to work. Right. I I dispatch. She factor the road. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a seven years old mm -hmm. who she know every truck I have. Right. And she, if I'm going somewhere, uh -huh. she don't. She just wanna go with daddy. Wow. She say I'm going with you. Mm -hmm. So that one, I think, if all things go well and she keep it up, yes, she can take it over. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Jamani, this is very inspiring. 
In fact, most of the stories I've had from the truck drivers and owners of truck, they always tell you, don't do this business. I mean, I think it's like, you can't pay your biashara So yeah, sometimes it's, uh, <laughs> me, I tell, uh, there's always good side and right. bad side. Yes. yes. But uh, how will you continue doing something mm -hmm. if uh, bad side is more higher than the good side? Right. So when you do something, just keep it up if the the good side is always good. Right. But if things are not good, mm. it depends. And also, the reason why maybe some people get into that situation, mm. it depends. Where did you start at? Right. Uh, what kind of equipment did you buy? Mm. Like uh, most of the time, here in America, mm -hmm. people fear debt. Yes. But uh, I better be on a debt mm. of a new truck. Yes. That uh, I don't worry at all when that truck is on the road. Yes. Than uh, be or not dead, mm. and I have a truck that mm. uh, every time is on the road. Right. I'm holding my mm. my, my Yeah. When I see the driver calling me, mm. I know there's a problem. Right. So I like to free, keep myself free-minded. Mm. That the truck that I have on the road. Yes. It's a it's a good truck. Mm. It's a new truck. Mm. It. I don't have a problem. But when you have those old old, old truck, right. they become problem. You will be having a lot of issue. Mm. And uh, and uh, also the thing about debt mm. is how to manage yourself. Right. As far as you know, you have a debt to pay Monday. Yes. You know, you you. This is my money. This is their money. Yes. And uh, by the time the truck is uh, because when you pay off the truck, mm. the truck can give you another two years. Right. But by that two years, you have another good safety money for another new truck. You are right. Me, the thing I don't like is to keep old truck. Mm. Because the more you keep old truck, the problem it is. Wow. Yes. Hey. Thank you very much, Charles. And uh, maybe now your advice to other business people, other Kenyans who are doing other businesses, if this, if they are doing well, what would you tell them? Because that's what I now I'm to Akifanya Vizuri. So uh, the thing that uh, us Kenyans, one mm. big problem we have yes. is, uh, and um, I know God in heaven know, yes. we don't like supporting each other. Mm. And uh, that's a big problem we mm. have. Right. And uh, the thing that I like is when I support somebody mm. and he becomes somebody, Right. and uh, then uh, tomorrow is not me, tomorrow is somebody else. Right. So the advice I can give, I can give people who want to do business you are doing, yes. it's do whatever you are doing, do it from the bottom of your heart. Right. And then God will pay you. Amen. But don't do something to try. Yes. Because, for example, if you decided to try getting into trucking, mm. and you go buy a truck worth 80000 Right. And then you don't, you, you end up feeling, ah, this is not for me. Mm. So... Do you know that truck that you bought 80,000, mm. you lose a lot of money? Right. First of all, you lost time, mm. you lost your money, right. and so many things. Because like opening a company like this, mm. it's uh, just not a lot of money. To right. open a trucking company, mm -hmm. it's like $300 right. for the DOT mm -hmm. and the MC. Yes. But after that, mm. then that's where the budget comes from. Mm. Because you have to have insurance, yes. you have to have uh, capital, you mm. have to have truck, you have right. to have trailer, mm. and uh, all those things, they mm. have to be in a good, uh, you know, good condition. Right. Because, for example, today, let's say a broker give me a road, mm. and uh, that road is going to Minnesota, mm -hmm. and then by the time I'm, uh, I go like 20 miles, mm -hmm. my truck broke, and I cannot take that road. Mm. Do you think that broker will give me a road tomorrow? Mm -mm. No. Because I don't deliver. You're right. So you have to make sure mm. when you get into it, yes. you are delivering. You Because on this business, mm. you you create a name when you do a good job to the a company. Right. All the time they'll be calling you, oh, do you have a truck? Like, Jeremy, right now, mm -hmm. like my phone, mm. maybe I have like uh, 20 calls that have come in. Wow. And a lot of them are like do you have a truck in Madison? Do you mm. have a truck in Indiana? Do mm. you have a truck in Alabama? Mm. So when you create a good, good name, profile, yeah. it's a, it pay off. Wow. It's only like now, 
We, it's, it's not like we don't get the road. Mm. We have road to haul. We yes. haul roads. Yes. It's only the road we haul. They mm. don't pay good. Mm. So, like, I cannot. I can tell you, mm. I don't have a driver who spent a night somewhere, right, looking for the road, mm -mm. because I have a good reputation and uh, the broker calling me. It's mm. only that they say we we have a, this road. We have this road for you, but it's not paying very good. Right. So, but uh, I Yes, and uh, tomorrow when mm. they start paying good, mm. that is the same broker will be looking for me because you know I do a good job. Wow. Yes. Wow. So, do you dispatch others or just yourself? I, I dispatch. I also be. Uh, I dispatch other people, mm -hmm. and I dispatch myself. Oh, okay. Yes. So, ni kama zaka maro di grab na dispatch sa side. Oh, we dispatch a small street truck, mm. uh, because that's what we used to do. Mm. Uh, we dispatch small speed truck, mm. yeah. Like, and we have like around uh, seven okay. uh, number, of, like seven people we mm. dispatch with a street truck. Mm. Yes, and we get a small percent of that. Oh, percent. yeah, wow. Uh, I own the road and mm. all that, so mm. yeah, it, it works very good. Wow, yeah, Woo. this is very good, Charles. I'm very proud of you, man. Thank you, Jeremy. And I wish you the best. Amen. And actually, you have inspired me. Thank One you, thing man. you have said, keep doing what you're doing and do it with all your heart. Yes. Come on, it's video, and you can do it. 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 You and uh, I learned something from you, mm -hmm. and uh, it was, uh, and I know that that whatever you did, right, that will make you. God in heaven will Amen. not forget about it. Amen. So you, you see the nakedness. Uh, you see the way your mother-in-law was. Uh, your mother, see, your stepmother, stepmother, yes, was uh, was living, right. And you decided to go there mm. and do something for her. Yes. Do you know that the prayer of that mom? Mm. But anytime she pray, mm. God in heaven, Amen. Answer that prayer, Amen. And I'm gonna tell you, there's no day you're gonna, you're gonna say I don't have. Right. I know in your business what yes. you do, you yes. get a lot of charity right. from people who yes. don't like what you do. Yes. But uh, I read some stuff on, uh, on a, you know, on a comment. Mm. Like a few days, I see somebody ask you. Mm. Uh, when do you work? Yeah, exactly. And you replied to her that when I'm doing my uh, content creator, yes. I'm, uh, I'm working. Right. And you ask her, do you need any more explanation? Mm -hmm. And uh, you really inspired me. Thank you. Because you, you could come and uh, retreat yes. and say something bad. Mm. When people say something bad to right. me, uh, I don't reply with bad. Yes. Like last time when my friend did a video like we are doing mm. and he posted it. I see a lot of negativity from people, people right. saying bad things. Mm. But I say, you know what? Mm. They are not stopping me You're right. drive my truck. Yes. They are not stopping me do what I do. Yes. So I say, whatever God mm. appointed you to yeah. do, yes, do whatever it. God wants you to do, mm. change people's life, right. do it as you can. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Amen. And then you will see the fruit of it. Thank you, Charles. Yeah. Well, as we wind up this interview, uh to talk to India track Dogo. Yes. And then we, we sign out. Yes. Now hey at least to Marudi. Yes, to Marudi. Hey Jamani. To me a root. To me. This was very good. I mean, man, as you command my own gap in Miriam, my uh, tattoo. No, uh, mm. to, the way to me, right. to me, uh, three miles, uh -huh. not to me, three miles. So to me, six. Six miles. That yeah. was good. Now, yeah. as we wind up this interview, because in Ajotu, we, are, we have done almost one hour. Yes. Uh, Kuna watu na semanga, nini muna endelea vizuri wa Kenya hamutuleti hapa US. Yeah. I mean, do you get those kind of things? Because now they will say, you are doing very well, but with one B series, I will put hapa. Yes. Mm. Uh, now, I'll be a uh, Jeremy. Right. And I would like to bring as many. Mm -hmm people as I can right. to bring here. Mm. But if I said you mm -hmm. uh, an invitation mm. to come with a visiting visa, mm. you are a burden. Right. Where in Muzigo, mm. Kwagu, mm. not to the community. <laughs> and I'm sorry to say that. Because mm -hmm. where's the anywhere? Right. Unless you had the Ufanya Kazi at the table. Yes. And uh, how will you feel if you spend a whole you a whole of your life mm. under the bed? Mm. It's not you good. don't have a life. Yes. Unashidwa, what mm. am I doing here? Right. Na Kenya mm. unafanya kitu abacho. Mm. In this country, yes. if you have the right document, mm. you can do anything. Right. But if you don't have the document, mm. 
uh, you are like in a prison. Mm. And the reason why I say because you cannot go get a job anywhere. Right. You are like a hiding person. Mm. And when you are hiding, you cannot do any development. Exactly. So I tell people, if you know you are coming mm. and you are coming with the right document. Mm. Like now I tell you, we, my, my wife, we are sponsoring right. a girl who won a green card. Mm. We don't know her. I know. It's only somebody introduced her to, you. to us mm. and say she won a green card mm. if she don't have a host mm. she's not so gonna get it yes help her so if it's that kind of a thing mm. i don't mind to help because mm. i can host mm. uh, 10 people right uh why should i not mm. but kama unakuja mm -hmm. na sita utaenda kazi yeah utakao umesinda ni kazi yako chaji yako ni kucheza video mm. game na ujui jioni utafanya nini it's not good for it's you it's not good yes but there's a lot of opportunity here mm -hmm. as far as you have the right document. Chaza ni green card mukiwen we kuambia. Kuja. Nita uniambia eh ulisema wajele mkama ni mechida green card utanisaidia. Exactly. Lakini sita kulipia ticket. Hapana utanishughulikia mimi na kusaidia. Mimi nitakusaidia kukupea kukupea baada ya kukaa. Exactly. Niache umesimama na miguu yako umeingia au ukikuja nitakuvuza kupaka kuendesha gari. Kabisa. Na nikukwambia kwenda turumbue gari hapa saki dogo na then uingie kwa barabara uende kazi. I mean this is good and to Kimaliza. I don't know whether you'll give us your number, my email, because that number, of course, I know they will get in touch with you. I don't worry. So if I pass a mutu a kipigia, I don't worry. Uh, I, I, I give person. my phone number right. because uh, people call me from. Mm. I even I don't know exactly. My phone number mm. is six zero eight mm -hmm. four two two mm -hmm. three four two nine. Right. And if you are calling from Kenya, mm -hmm. you have to add one. Plus one. Uh, plus one. Yes. So anytime mm. you want to have a family. Yeah. 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 Yeah is if you want to get in touch with him, more advice, as long as you are here in the U.S. Yeah. about the tracking, he's very much willing to do it. Yes. Not only is that I'm going to find out what you're to just say, I'm going to find work. Yes, I'm going to find out what you're doing. But I'm going to find out what you're doing. I'm going to find out what you're doing. Thank you very much. Yes. And I thank God for you. Yes. Next time, we'll discuss the idea of him. Do you have a club in Kenya to collect what you're doing? I don't know, but I'm going to find out what you're doing. So, but, but, like now, but like now, mm -hmm. BO is very different with when we were running. Kwa sababu, unaona kama kesho ni Saturday, kulikuwa kama tukua kwa Saturday kama hii area, kuna ka BO, kanalipa miyabiri, miyatatu, miyahime. You know, all those sponsors, I don't know where they went. Wow. You know? Wali rudi UK irabda. Ata siyo UK, si pesa hau kuhidiisha. So they were out when I got killed. Keep to come book. Anyway, thank you very much, guys. We love you so much, and I know you are inspired. Me and I told Jeremy Damaris from Wisconsin. God bless you. God bless you. Charles Kamondo number is right there. Charles Kamindo. Kamindo. We are going to talk about Charles Kamondo. We are going to talk about Charles Kamondo. I like that guy. We are talking about Charles Kamindo. Yeah. Charles Kamindo Logistics. God bless you so much. Me and I told JD to talk about Wisconsin. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Asante sana. Now to come back to Damaris, to do the pale pale too. We got to do this again. Okay. In the first time, yeah. I failed. Yeah. But this time round, yeah. Tuvanya hivi. Eh. Well, we had to go here early. Eh. Na mimi ni ili atafika hapa bere. Eh. Kwa sababu sasa kuku kuku sukuma uaguke. Eh. Well, na wala. Uu uu ala tukia na kuki biara. Eh. Sasa wala unataka tuvanya nini? Sasa well, we had to go here early. Uh -huh. Na mimi ni kai hapa. Eh. So you ala tafika kwa Johni na Jenny ako hapa. Eh. Na John ako pale. Eh. Uu ala tafika bere. Okay. Then atafu atafu a officio. Sasa wala tafika kwenye kwa kwa rali. Ni tafika na kwa rali. Na mimi ni fikia pa. Na wala Johni si mama pale. Hey, malazi mo moja afika ika hapo. Jona na kujia hapo. Sumbaya na hapa hivyo. Najero ni na kujia hivi. Stop. Aya. Atuvika kwa rodi. Atuvika kwa kubere. Amerin. Aya. Let's do this. Niwe uta count. Aya. Count tuone. Yeah. Hapo ni sawa. Okay. Who is saying one, two, three, five? Hey, I can do this. Thank you very much. I have the marathon here, but uh, just, just come in. Don't be like a gentleman. God bless you. Asante, sir.